Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you a cool little feature in Adobe Audition that generates a human voice in really any language that you want. Now, before I get started, I just wanna tell you this is for Microsoft specifically. Um, the tutorial is, at least, it can be done in Mac, but I don't know how to do that, so you might wanna look up a tutorial on Mac or watch this one and then see if you can't figure it out in Mac. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a language downloaded. Um, English is gonna be downloaded by default if English is your native set language. If it's not, then it's gonna be whatever your language is. And to get to that, we're just going to search down here for settings. This is in Windows, we're searching for this. Settings, and then we're going to have this come up, and then you just go over here into time and language, then region and language, and then you can add a language, so that's what you need to do first. So they got every language in the book here. Um, it goes alphabetical like this, so A's, and then it continues B, and goes across. So make sure you're reading the bottom of this because that'll be it'll be written in your language. If you read the top, you'll kind of get confused of where you are a lot of times. So choose the language that you want to it to speak in, click download, and then the next step is once that language is downloaded, um, I have Japanese right here because I also speak some Japanese. So you just go into options, and then under here, it'll say speech, which is right here. You click download and have it install into your um, computer. And once that's installed, then you need to open up Adobe um, Edition and we can get started. So the first thing we do is we go into effects, then generate, and then speech. And this is where, basically, this is how easy it is. This is where it happens. So your language choice is right here. Um, you can have, so I have the two languages. I'll show them both to you. So English, we can just type in Hello, uh, Adobe Masters here. How are you today? Yeah, sure. And then you click play and. Oops, click Hello, play. Adobe Masters here. How are you today? Hello. And as you can see right beneath there, it has created your language, um, the language for you. You can adjust some of the settings around here. So for example, maybe we want to uh, make it speak a little faster. Hello, Adobe Masters here. How are you today? Hello, Adobe Masters here. So you can choose that and the volume right here. Pretty simple. You can make it a female or a male because that's what comes with the language pack. And now it's time to show you the other one. Which So I switch into Japanese. And what's cool is it actually reads English in a Japanese accent. And Japanese don't know how to say certain syllables. It's just not a part of their language. So what they do is they adopt it into their own language. So as you just listen and you can kind of hear that. Hello, Adobe Masters here. How are you today? Oh, let me let me slow that down for y'all. Hello, Adobe Masters here. How are you today? You can see it has a Japanese accent, which is actually kind of cool that they it, it reads it um, programma programmatically from uh, English into a Japanese accent, and then of course you can switch it. So just switch into the Japanese keyboard right here when I type, and then. Um, Quickly type some uh, kuruto desu. Boku no name wa kuruto desu. So, and sometimes it does that. It just it's reformatting. So click. Boku no name wa kuruto. Oh, didn't type in desu. Desu. Boku no name wa. Boku no name wa kuruto desu. And there you go. And so you can do that with any language you want, and it'll create the text for you. You could use Google Translate, copy what it translates from your language into that language, and copy it in here, and it'll speak it for you. Uh, what's really cool about this is now this is a part of Adobe Audition. So if you just click the play button right here, this created speech is now yours to use. You can you know, create like little effects on top of it. You could make it into a robot voice. So you could have the robot speak maybe the script part that you want and then go in here and I don't know, add in just different effects. Um, modulation, flanger, sure. Input delay, sure, all over the place. Yeah, I didn't actually do that much. But yeah, so you can kind of do that. You can mess around with different um, effects and just have a lot of fun with the and have a lot of fun with the speech because now it is a part of Adobe Audition. So yeah, really, really cool little effect. Great if you're trying to, you know, create audio uh, in another language or you're trying to like, I, the, this kind of came to me is if you're like maybe shooting um, a video in another, like a location that's supposed to be somewhere else. For example, 
let's say you were shooting a video that was supposed to be in a Tokyo subway station or something, you could kind of create a voice here and then have it being played, you know, in the background as alerts or something. And, you know, as long as it's not, you know, a central element of the piece, unless, you know, of course, it's like a robot or something, it should be, it'll be a great background element that'll really sell the effect. And it, you can make it say anything you want in the background. And then you don't have to, you know, hire someone that speaks Japanese or try to speak it yourself. You can get something that sounds pretty good and then add it into your footage. Um, great effect, and thanks everyone for joining me. That's going to be the end of this tutorial. Really, really simple. Remember, just go up to Effect, Generate, and then Speech, and you choose whatever language is installed on your machine. Remember to, sub to subscribe for more Adobe-related content, and until next time, guys, see ya.